Hey there, Bourbon Street Joe here again. Um, day two, Mrs. Joe's road trip. So tonight for dinner, I am not going to make, but already have prepared, obviously, another individual ration. So today, uh, this is a French ration, uh, as you can tell by the French all over it. Markings on it. thing and this is a and you'll have to really forgive my pronunciation um not all of us in canada are bilingual uh this is a uh, ration individuelle d'exercice de richofable which basically they abbreviate as an r-i-e-r uh which stands for individual heatable exercise ration uh the main french rations the 24 hours of the r-c-i-r's um, you'll also find them for sale, the RIEs, which is basically the same thing without the reheatable. So you would have, instead of, uh, as this one would contain the um, the main entree, uh, that you would have from an RCIR, an RIE would have the, uh, the salad component that's supposed to be in um, cold, whether it's a tuna salad or uh, various other ones that you can, you can get a hold of. Um, so this is menu number three. Uh, sans pork, in other words, without pork. Um, this uh, translates as prohibited resale, which of course most rations do. Uh, best before date, um, 4th 24, uh, 2022. So we're a little out of date on this, but not too bad. Um, you can see the contents here. So that's a 300 main, uh, that's beef lasagna. Uh, this is a chicken liver pate. Uh, uh, gâteau semoli is a, a semolina cake, so semolina is a type of flour. Uh, you get a chocolate bar. Uh, you have uh, country biscuits. You have a napkin, uh, or your butt ration. Uh, pâté de fruit, which would be a, a fruit pâté, or a, that's the jelly bar that's in there. Uh, uh, petit on the réchauffage, which would be your uh, stove. And this is um, uh, freeze-dried coffee. Um, there is a weight on it, uh, 0.82 kilograms. Uh, and this basically states, um, if the cans are dented, don't eat it. So just to confirm that pop out the handy dandy scale because I've got to get it right for once. A bit of glare coming off that light there. There we go. Okay, so it says uh, basically 820 grams. 821 grams. Which is uh, 1 pound 12.9 ounces to so 1 pound 13 ounces. Pretty much. Um, as I've stated in other videos, uh, if it does, does come with a heating element, uh, we're not going to use it. This one does, still not going to use it. But I've uh, got my brick set up and uh, 250 mils of room temperature water. So I'll bendy the stove, light her up, and uh, see how long it takes to uh, kick off. I think it was 8 minutes, 15 seconds for the the uh, fuel tabs in the, uh, the Sarek ration. Uh, I do have some water um, just about boiling over here. Um, we'll use that uh, to heat up the uh, the main, and we'll also use the uh, handy dandy bendy um, folding handle to retrieve it. I hope if that comes with that. So, get this open. Put that to the side. Pretty easy to get into. And there's our contents. So we'll go through that. There's our pâté de fruit, or our fruit bar, fruit jelly bar. Uh, obviously, raspberry flavored. Uh, Two bags of two salted biscuits. 
So I know usually in the RCIRs you get the chocolate, the salted, and the sweet. This is obviously just salty. Uh, <coughs> pardon me. 70% <clears throat> dark chocolate. As opposed to the 60 from last night. Uh, that's good till... 0 2 10, 22. so it's either good to the second day of the 10th month or the 10th day of the second month, depending on, I guess, how they organize that. Um, here is your coffee. It clearly states in English, coffee. That's good till 2023. Um, here's our main lasagne per boeuf, so a beef lasagna, 300 grams. 17th, 12, 22, so the 17th day of December. Oh, so we're still in date on that. Nice. And uh, we'll just crank the stove up a bit. And get that in the water. Moving up. Uh, here is our superior chicken liver pate. Ring pull on that, which they stamped right over. <laughs> yep, good date on that. Uh, that would be either again 12, 22, 11, or no, no, wait. 06, 12, 2022. Okay, so that's our best before date. So either the 12th of June or the 6th of December. semolina cake. I'm going to turn that down just a bit because it's just a noisy. There. That's better. Um, uh, 2308-2022. Okay, so that's obviously the 23rd day of the 8th month. Which would make that the sixth day of the 12th month. So those are both good till December of this year. But ration. And the last thing uh, is our stove component. So obviously the only drink we have is our um, coffee. So, no tea, no anything else. Get that out. So you have your small heating kit, which is what that translated to roughly on the front. It is an Espit stove. Also gives you a garbage bag and a matchbox. Tells you your other contents, your gripping lever, fuel tabs, and your pliable stove. Here's how to crank her together. Your warnings, which probably is do not burn in an enclosed space. Gloves, dust, get away from children, flammable. Okay. So that is that's your luggage. So you just bend your legs until she's square and your stove stands up. Make sure it sits on the brick. Last thing we want is boiling hot water spilling everywhere. And then obviously drop a fuel tab later up and uh, get a garbage bag out of the way here. So these come in a resealable, recyclable plastic bag. Looks like the uh, 
L'Arc de Triomphe, Arc de Triomphe in it, and uh, Eiffel Tower on the other side. These are red tips. Get one of those puppies out. Yeah, there are three individually segregated fuel tabs. Oh, there's that fish smell again. Get that down on there. Oh, woof. At least on the first go, that's a good good sign. Let's see if I can get this going. Not bad. I think we got her on the first try. Last video I saw, I think it took three matches. So there's our canteen cup of room temperature water. And uh, we'll see how long that takes to go. Get this stuff out of the way. I think that is just, uh, I don't think it matters which side I bend, but I would prefer to have this on the outside as opposed to the inside, I think. Actually, you know what? Bend it the other way. Not Actually, that wouldn't really matter because that's not contacting the can, so maybe a little bit of a, yeah, that'll work. Okay, we got that main still heating up. Let's go with our coffee. And that's going to be easier if I actually open it. Those are honking huge granules. I think we'll go with four, four ounces of boiling water on that. Just to be on the safe side again. Uh, so that would be 125 mils of water. Um, again, if it's if it's weak, I prefer to thin it out later than to have to just deal with a weak coffee overall. Summer KFS. And go with six ounces. Again, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Uh, waiting for that. Waiting for that. Huh, bubbles in that already. Wow. Okay. So we'll go with our pate. That looks like it smells like a canned meat, so not a lot of anything coming off that. Not a not a strong liver scent either, uh, which it did say it, it was. Let 
Grab some of our biscuits here, which are resealable. Not that anybody ever manages to reseal anything because they always tear the wrong side, or like I do, you just rip the tab off it. Just a bit of a knuckle dragger. And there's, oh, those are neatly almost broken directly in half, but uh, let's see what we got going on. Mm. You can tell there's a bit of a whole meal to them, or a whole wheat. You can see a little flex in there. You know, focus there. They are a little salty. Actually, a little, little stale. They're not bad, but a little stale. Okay, that is super fine. Very spreadable. I'll try it. Quick bit here without. Um, a little coarser. Definitely getting metallic taste to it. Whether that's the liver or the fact that it's in a can. Hmm. Yeah, that's definitely not bad. Um, might be a heavier, yeah, I think it's a liver taste that's coming through on it, not not a canned taste. Um, Definitely tasty, hearty, 78 grams of that. Oops. So, um, we got a boil over there, that's for sure. Um, so that's pretty much four minutes four minutes, 35 seconds, which is a lot faster than the eight minutes, 15 seconds for the, so that, that burned a lot quicker, or sorry, the burning of the tablet caused that to boil a lot quicker. Um, and if you, let me pause for just one sec, I will uh, extinguish that tablet and get that off the boil so it's not continuing to do that. Be right back. And we're back. Okay, uh, shut that down. So that's, that's what the end result of that looked like. It actually only continued to burn for about maybe 10 or 15 seconds after I took the water off. Um, I did crank up the lasagna. It's still sitting in boiling water though, uh, heating through. Already tried our biscuits. Like I said, those were nice, a little stale, but um, not bad. Um, I could definitely see uh, Again, finishing that off when you're hungry, because, yeah. Um, pate, good stuff. I mean, I liked it. Um, but I like pâtés, so mm, your results may vary, obviously. Um, so I will carefully, I hope, burning the crap out of myself. Use my handy dandy. Canadian Armed Forces handkerchief. Retrieve that out of the water. We'll grab my handy dandy little. There you go. Works like a charm. Spin that around. I know lots of reviewers struggle with this. Which I will as well, apparently. Well, 
still isn't that handy. Huh. All right, once again, uh, improvise, adapt, and uh, overcome. Pause for the cause. A few moments later. Okay, and that is why you carry uh, Gerber or Leatherman in the field, because um, yeah, when your ration decides uh, you're not going to eat it, um, you and a pair of pliers say otherwise. So that's what she looks like. There was a bit of cheese spillage, which was rather unavoidable, but... Uh, other than that, you get your sheets of pasta, sauce, and there is honest to goodness cheese in there as well, so give that a taste. Hmm. That's good, and that's warmed through. Uh, again, I know a lot of people will say, oh no, you gotta use the stove. Uh, I don't want to burn the bottom of my food to the can, so. We're okay here. It's good. It's better than, um, definitely tastier than Chef Boyardee quality. Um, it is a little metallic tasting, but considering this has been in a can for probably the better part of three, almost four years, it's pretty good. And then you don't need your you don't need a mesh tin. Um, so hey, maybe there's some merit to the the whole idea of um, doing it that way. Um, I am really interested in this semolina cake. Let's see if that goes any better. Yeah, that seems to have gone better. And there's your uh, gateau. And yes, I said gateau, not ghetto. Just, just so we can be clear on that. So it looks almost like a caramel sauce on it. Which it is. Wow, that's tasty. Mm-hmm. So it's got a very fine, fine texture to it. So it's like a flan or a creme, car creme caramel. Pardon me, I can eat with my dog with my mouth full. Um, very moist. Obviously, it's swimming in, in caramel sauce. That's very tasty, though. I definitely love that. All in all, pretty solid so far. Uh, we'll go over there 70% chocolate first. Now there's some bloom on that. Unlike last night's, which was just wow. But uh, it breaks nice. Let's give it a taste. Same shoe as last night's, very, um, good mouthfeel to it. Um, you can taste the extra 10% cocoa in there. It's just a little more bitter and probably a little less sweet, I would say. It washes down good with the coffee. Again, not a mocha. Probably been a little more remiss in the weight too, I guess. 25 grams on that bar. 
30 grams on this one. Biscuits give you nutritional value per 100 grams. 50 grams, so whatever that is, half it. Pate, not true already. I'm not inverting that. 120 grams on your cake. So let's give our raspberry jelly bar. Covered in sugar. Or sweet. Very chewy. Hmm. Probably not getting a lot of raspberry flavor on that, but considering all the other sweet things I just ate, um, that could be just masking it. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to finish eating my dinner. And then we'll come back with a um, final weigh-in on the refuse and a um, couple of thoughts. Be right back. Okay, dinner's over and we're back. Um, get that on there, 143. Uh, there's still two fuel tabs in there, so... Ugh. That might offset it a bit and your butt ration. Uh, though I will be keeping it, I'll toss the handle in there and the stove just to try to get everything that you're not obviously consuming in there. Um, 198 grams, give or take, so you're probably eh, 200 grams. And we were 821 on the nose, so you're looking at about a quarter of the weight. Uh, is going to be garbage. Um, other than that, final thoughts. It was good. Um, definitely enjoyable. Um, even after everything, I had a bit of coffee left there still. But uh, I'll finish that up. And um, yeah, I, I definitely look forward to um, trying a full 24-hour RCIR. And uh, sharing that with you guys as well. So... Uh, yeah, that's it for me, uh, Bourbon Seed Joe. I'm out of here. Have a good night.